It is the compositing window manager that has more options than a politician has lies. Maybe scratch that and reverse it. <laughs> you are watching a bonus video. This is the Compiz Reloaded Emerald Tour, right now on Spatry's Cup of Linux. Wow, we made it to the end of the series. And before we get started, let's uh, do a shameless plug for cupoflinux.com. Click the link in the description. It'll take you to my website where all of the show notes for the entire series resides. For those of you who are members of my community and have uh, downloaded my file, uh, my installation file, that link is right here. Um, just save that somewhere on your hard drive. Right-click on it and extract here. And it contains uh, all the really cool things uh, that I have. I have my profile. I have a borderless theme uh, for Emerald and uh, my uh, standard uh, uh, bordered theme. Hashtag instructions gives you the instructions for installing this. There is a pictures folder which contains the Sky Dome and the 3D Coffee Cup for those of you who want that. And as stated, all the instructions are in this file here. Basically, you'll just open up uh, the Compiz Config Settings Manager, go into uh, Preferences here, and just click the Import button, navigate to where the Spatry Compiz profile is, and uh, you should be good to go. You'll use the Emerald Theme Manager to import these two files. Very simple and very easy to do. Most of you should have that figured out without a problem. Let's start off with the Emerald Theme Manager. And let's uh, select uh, my Spatry Simple Dark Border. We'll right-click on the Fusion icon under Select Win Window Decorator, ensure that Emerald is enabled. And then in the Settings Manager, under Window Decoration, you'll need to make sure that Emerald-Replace is enabled there. Okay, good. Now we've got Emerald Window Borders enabled. And some fun little animations going on here as a result of having that enabled. Okay, let's uh, first go into Emerald Settings before we talk about anything else. Uh, in the Emerald Settings here, uh, you can uh, there are a number of things you can uh, define here. You can show tool tips for buttons, use decoration cropping. Um, you could specify no shade on a title bar scroll. This is shading. I kind of like that feature. It's really cool. Uh, you can use button fade. Use a button fade pulse. Um, you can also define the duration for uh, fade total, fade steps, a pulse weight, pulse main opacity, um, what you want the title bar to do when it's double clicked. In this case, I have shade select, but you can have uh, maximize, restore, or minimize enabled. Uh, button hover cursor, that's this. And then uh, comp is a decoration blur type. I have none, but you could set it for a title bar only or all decorations. All right, and then this is your theme settings here. And uh, from here, you can actually import themes. This is the button you would hit if you want to download my themes and use them. Uh, just hit the import button and then just search for them in your file directory where they are. Okay. Um, and I have the borderless and uh, the spatry theme here, which is a theme that I found and I modified heavily. And then we have edit themes. Let's go ahead and make a new one. I'm going to uh, call this one new. Uh, I'm going to choose an oxygen type of theme for it. And uh, let's press save. Now we're going to go in and we have uh, the emerald theme here, all right? And you're going to see we have a different looking border for this now. And 
through here, we can edit the theme any way we want to. You can change a different engine if you want. Okay, this is a V-Runner style. There are different engines, so you can try one that you like. I think I'll go with the V-Runner one. That one's pretty cool. All right, you can define how your buttons will appear, and you're going to need bitmap files for that. Since I don't really have them, uh, the buttons that I already obtained, and I got these buttons from another theme. I can't remember exactly where. I didn't create these originally. Somebody else did. Um, we could uncheck to use pick maps buttons. Okay, and now that's actually changed uh, the appearance of that. So, um, you know, there are different options. You know, you can define uh, the frame and shadows for this. You can define your title bar options. So, if you want to have tiny text in that title bar, You'll see that it has changed the text, but really hasn't changed the size of the title bar or anything like that. But normally, you know, I, I, I really just don't like window borders, but uh, that's something that you can do. Um, you can also save a screenshot to go with this as well. Um, gosh, there are so many fun things you could do with this. Uh, I could spend hours... Uh, playing with this. So experimentation is key. Um, definitely, you know, pick out uh, some colors. And as you go along here, you're going to notice some things changing. And pretty much it'll do a lot of these changes in real time. So you can see I've already affected a difference. And, you know, you can move around and play with different windows and that sort of thing. You know, because you see, you got, see, this is the active window, but then you can set different preferences for the inactive window. So maybe I want to do uh, a kind of a blue color with that inactive window. And see how that looks? I mean, so you can do some really fun stuff with this. Experimentation is key. I can't stress that enough. And for making your own window borders, I mean, you've got several different engines to choose from here. And uh, you can come up with some pretty uh, wicked themes for this. So, I mean, this is an, th 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 this tool is awesome sauce. So... Play with it, exploit it, and have fun with it. That's all I can say. And hey, if you guys create any really cool themes, share them on the forum with the rest of the community. Um, you can even, uh, I think there's uh, an emeraldthemes.org uh, website as well that you can go to where you can get tons of themes for this. If we look in the Arch user repository, there is emerald-themes-git. Uh, so if you build this thing, you will get tons and tons and tons of themes uh, for Emerald should you decide to build this package. But personally, I think uh, the most fun that you can have with this software is actually just getting your hands dirty and you know, making themes yourself, you know, uh, I mean, because the customization options that this gives you uh, is unlimited. Okay, that is all I have on Emerald and the Emerald Theme Manager. I want to take this time to thank the Compiz Reloaded team for helping me uh, with things during this series as I was putting it together. Thank you, Soro, Shadow Kyogre, and X Ravon. You guys have been 
fabulous. And everybody that participates in the Compiz Reloaded channel on Freenode IRC, you guys are the best and you know it. I hope this series has given you all food for thought. And if you haven't tried the Compiz 8 series, you're really missing out. So I highly recommend that you download this and give it a try. It is a lot of fun. And I can't thank this community enough for keeping this software alive. I know when uh, Unity and Gnome Shell came out, a lot of people were very angry that... You know, a new version of Compiz, the Compiz 9 series, was coming out and it was being used to power the Unity engine on Ubuntu. And uh, a lot of people were upset that this was going away. And for a time, it appeared like it was going to just fade off into the sunset. And luckily, that didn't happen. We still have a community of people who have a passion for this piece of software and refuse to let it die. So this video series is for all of you out there who have put so much work and so much love and effort into this. Thank you, all of you, for enjoying this series. And I'll catch you next time. Peace out. Thank mm -hmm. you.